Yo, what's good? In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down a beat I made with Ghosty in mind. Maybe something that he'd make for like Neo NB or some shit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you ain't, welcome back, bro. If you're just getting into drill and you're not sure who Ghosty is, he's a London-based producer and his credit list is as long as Kira's fucking death note. Like, what the fuck? Mad. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna start by breaking down the sample. If you want this one, as well as nine other heaters, go in the description and cop the free kit from me and my boy Khan Beats. Disgusting. All right, so I started off with these royalty-free Indian vocals that are ripped off of YouTube. Next, I consolidated that into its own pattern and then I chopped it up in Slice X. I've covered how I chop up samples more in depth in my previous videos, but if this is the first video of mine you're watching, I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. So I start off by opening a fresh instance of Slice X, then I'll render out the part of the sample that I wanna chop up, open up the sound, drag it into Slice X. Next, what I'm gonna do is right click here, click on medium grid slicing. This will slice up the sample into medium chunks. Then I'll click D click in all regions, D click out all regions. This just smooths in the transition between each chop. Now, as you can see, it's chopped everything into little chunks for us. Control A, delete this. Now we can just play with these chops ourselves. Here's the pattern that I ended up coming up with. Next, I consolidated that, which is just fucking fancy speak for rendering it out. And then I pitched it up. Next, I duplicated that over, made it unique, reversed it, and then chopped out my favorite two bars from the result. And I automated on some half time and set that to half loop. Cable guys, when you guys are gonna throw me the bag, I've probably boosted your half time sales by about 3000%. Like, I'm here, just saying. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm not. All right, so now we're gonna hop into the main FLP so I can show you guys what I did with the drums. The majority of the percussion I use on this beat is from the Ghosty Worldwide Drilling Volume 2 or three kit, I forgot which one. But I laid down a pretty minimal pattern, I just wanted the beat to have a real nice bop to it. Next I threw on an effect sequencing plugin called Looperator, and I set it so every second bar there's a really cool rewind effect. Next I threw in this little perk here, and also this snare. And I grab this little snap perk, increase the echo and delay a bit, and at the end of every eight bars, I lay down this pattern here, just to signal that you're going into the next verse. Also making sure that I manually pan them. Now for the 808, I'll wait to use something fucking disrespectful. So I use the Seraphim 808 from my free kit, Rebirth. And I also dragged on one of the presets too. Link in description if you want it. Side note, if you watch all of my videos and you're tired of hearing about this kit, too fucking bad, buddy. And here's the pattern that I came up with for the chorus. Making sure at the end of the pattern, I just manually panned each roll. For the first and second verse, it's pretty much more of the same thing. I kept the patterns quite simple, except at the end of the second verse, I decided to make like a cool little echo effect with the rolls. You wanna know how I did that? It's super simple. Let me just get rid of this shit and I'll show you. All right, so these are the rolls that I end the verse on. Highlight these, duplicate them over. And with these notes still highlighted, I hold down Alt, scroll the mouse wheel down so that all the velocities drop down. Then I hold Shift, drag, copy that down again. Hold Alt, drag it down, same shit. Super simple. For the first verse, I grabbed another snare and laid it over my main counter snare pattern just to add some more impact to the parts that I wanted it. Next, I grabbed this perk and made a bit more of a complex pattern. And I also applied pancake to that to make sure that it panned from left to right. And with all the percussion together, grab 
grabbed this kick from a Hussein, Hussein, Hussein? I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, bro. Anyway, I got it from one of his kits. Set the notes down to A sharp, put the velocity just before the top, increase the boost by just a little bit. Next, I grabbed a grime 808 from my boy Z Drew's Jules drum kit. Laid down a pretty bare pattern just to complement the main 808. Next, I wanted to layer over some more effects and rises to add to the bot. I took this effect, duplicated it over, reversed it to get a pretty cool effect. Layered over this drill riser and also threw in this other riser here. And also layered over this little strum, I don't know what the fuck you'd call it. Making sure that with the risers, I'd pan them a bit to the left or a bit to the right, just to add some space to the mix. <laughs> Other than that, there's not much I've done really. Oh, wait, actually, in the intro, just before the drop, I threw in this little Roblox perk. Sauce. today's video guys as always thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end if you found some value in the video or you enjoyed it drop a like on the video if you don't want to miss my next video consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell notification too now that you're done watching the video if you want to learn how to make nasty drill beats for russ and t on wayne check out this video next i've kind of run out of funny things to say at the end of my videos now so just fucking click it